What's up guys, I'm back and if you haven't seen my latest vlogs or aren't following me on Twitter or Snapchat, basically I thought my very expensive SSD was gone. But that wasn't the case. It was actually the hard drive cable which is a pretty common issue among mid-2012 or earlier MacBook Pros. And if you'd like to see a video going over the possibility of why this happened or how to prevent it and all that good stuff, let me know below. But if yours already failed, here's how to change it. I got mine from ifixit.com and I'll leave it linked below. But what's really great about buying it from iFixit as opposed to other places in my experience and research is that it comes with the entire infrared assembly and everything just ready to replace which makes this job so much easier. So to get started, make sure your Mac is turned off and remove all the screws on the bottom of your MacBook, making sure to remember where the three longest screws came from. Firstly and most importantly, disconnect the battery. Now you can remove the little brace holding the hard drive in place or in my case the SSD. Remove the SATA cable connecting the drive and take the drive out. Now you can clearly see the entire cable you are about to replace. Now if you are wondering why there is electrical tape here, this is sort of a preventative measure and I'll probably go over this in the next video if you guys are interested, but just for a quick rundown, there is a possibility that the aluminum on the inside of the MacBook Pro isn't as smooth as the outside which causes the hard drive cable to rub against it and damage over time. So if you're getting this issue of the hard drive not reading, it could be a slight damage in the insulation of the cable which gives an issue when it comes into contact with the aluminum. So putting that tape there will be sort of a DIY insulation so it could solve your problem before having to change the cable entirely. However, if yours is as badly off as mine is right now, you'll have to replace the cable. But the good thing is, now we know how fragile this cable actually is, so we leave that electrical tape there to prevent it from rubbing against the aluminum in the future. Now if your Mac is working perfectly, I don't want to say I suggest but if you're up to it, it's definitely a good idea to put that little piece of electrical tape there right now to prevent it from happening in the future and save yourself around $50. Now the next step is to disconnect the cable from the motherboard by simply lifting it off very gently and carefully. Once that side is disconnected, remove these two tiny screws here holding the cable down. Now just like we removed the brace holding the hard drive in, do the same on this side where the infrared sensor lives. Once the screws are out, pull it away from the front of the laptop and lift. Once it's up, gently peel this off the body of the Mac and you're out. Now simply do this process in reverse to install the new cable, after putting some electrical tape of course. Screw down the brace with the infrared sensor, line the tiny cable down the way it was previously and drop those two screws in to hold the cable in place. Reconnect it to the motherboard and your new cable is in. Now drop your hard drive or SSD back in, screw down the brace, reconnect your battery, close everything back up. Now this might be a good time to just put maybe 2 or 3 screws in the back and turn the laptop on to make sure everything's working properly before screwing in everything. Once everything's good, boot up like normal and you're good to go. I really hope you guys found this tutorial useful. If you did, feel free to smash that thumbs up button and let me know your success rate in the comments below. Like I said before, if you want to see a video on how to prevent this, let me know as well. Thank you guys so much for watching.